Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the XR Club and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a follow-on from a blog post and a follow-on video that I published last week and the week before. In the blog post, I set a little challenge. I gave you a small table of data that you could copy and paste from the blog post. And what you were to try and do was create a sorted list based on the average times using the sort and the sort by functions. Now the solution that I posted in the video had two formulas used to return this table. The first formula returns the list of unique names sorted by the average speed of the runner. And the second function then just takes the times, gets an average of them and sorts them from the slowest time to the longest time. Now on that video itself, let me hop over to our YouTube channel. And on that video, if we scroll down here, I got a really amazing solution sent to me by Wayne Edmondson. Now, this is an awesome solution, so I really wanted to share it with all of you. Wayne was able to carry out this problem and solve this problem using the sort function and only using one formula. Instead of the two formulas that I used, he used only one formula. So we're gonna have a look at that formula now in action because I have to say I was really quite impressed and obviously the less formulas that you have to write, the better and if you can do it in only one formula, that's pretty amazing. So let's have a look at the solution that Wayne sent to us. First of all, we will start with the sort function but then we are going to use the choose function. Now within the choose function, we're gonna put in, in our curly brackets one and two, a little array in our curly brackets for our choose. Then for our value, we are going to put in our unique function. And our unique function is going to look for our unique list of names in the table. After this, we will then use, we will then use the average ifs function, the average if s function, and we will from this then take our times. Our criteria range will then be our names. Then we will need for our criteria, we will use the unique function. And in the unique function, again, we will select our names. Then we can close that bracket. We can close the bracket on the average ifs and we can close the bracket on the choose function. And then we can put in, in our sort index, index number two, because we're sorting by the second column, and we can do it in descending order. So we put in a minus one. Now, when we hit enter, our times and our names actually spill. Now that's not in time format. So let me change that back to time format. And we can see we get the exact same results as we did when we used the two formulas. So a big shout out and a big thank you to Wayne for putting that solution up in the comments section. That was really, really great. I hope the rest of you enjoyed this video and the solution that has been provided. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my video. And if you found it useful, I do hope that you will share it across your social profiles. Thanks for watching, goodbye now.